The number line drag and drop question is pretty much what the name implies. Students see a number line and can drag points on it from the points container. In this video we are going to create an example of such question. First we type the question for the students. Next come the number line parameters. Here we can set the minimum and maximum values of our number line. We can then type a number line title if needed. By default the distance between ticks is 1, but for this task we need to set it to 1 over t. For this we need to scroll down to more options. Here in the ticks distance box we insert 1 over t. You can also insert the distance value as a decimal or a mixed fraction, but for our example we need a simple fraction. Now we can see the ticks are displayed every half of a point. Now let's scroll back up to the list of possible points. Here we insert values for draggable points that will appear in a container below the number line. Click on Add if you need to add more points. Now we need to validate the question. Here you'll see the number line we just created and the possible points. We simply drag the points on the correct position on the number line and the correct response is set. Under more options you'll find additional number line attributes. For example in the layout section you can specify the number line width and height, number line margin, this is the distance between minimum and maximum values in the container borders, line and title position to define where they appear in the container, for example, if you set title position to 1%, it will appear on the very top. In the ticks section, you can set whether or not to display ticks on the line and specify the distance between ticks. In the label section, you can turn off minimum and maximum labels and set labels frequency. For example, when the frequency is 1, the labels will be displayed underneath each tick. When 2, they will be displayed underneath every second tick. 